Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters, an English public speaking community. We are glad to serve you here for the quest of personal development. And let's see the next slide. Before we continue the meeting etiquette, I hope that we can comply to this etiquette. This session is recorded, so please dress and talk properly. Turn on your video to share enthusiasm, unless it is urgent things or some kind of privacy. But most of the time, please turn on your video so we can share the enthusiasm. And also mute your microphone unless you are permitted to speak. About Zoom naming guide, since most of us are guests, please rename yourself using this guide. G dash your name. Or if you are taking role, Specify your role and then your name. For more info, you can visit hailing.me slash motivators. But you can also do it later. We also put the meeting agenda in that link. Although it is also good to view it. We will view it later in this meeting. And let's start with why. Why do we exist? There are a lot of places for us to learn specific skills. We believe that public speaking is a valuable skill that we can learn to be a competent speaker. And even we can shape it for specific purposes. Furthermore, we can learn and practice in a structured approach. We also believe in the long run marathon over sprint. Of course, Some of you guys, including me, we have ever attended in full day workshops or seminar. It is good to have it, but it is a complementary of something in the long run. The nurture over nature or nurture over eventual moment. That is why public speaking is a long-term journey. And also we believe in the power of network. We can empower each other with growth mindset. And we can also transfer knowledge and experience from other. It is a long history with Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters since 22 years ago, co-founded by former Minister of Education, Mr. Wardiman Joyonegoro, and also Mr. Budi Harjo Hadisurjo. He is a partner at Law Firm. We are gladly still connected across the generations. And we are proud to be part of Toastmasters International an educational organization which teach public speaking and leadership through worldwide networks of clubs. Even we have their international curriculums named Pathways, which offer specialized modules and international certificates. Besides that, there is an opportunity for members to join tired speech contest because of the worldwide network, starting from this club, advancing gradually until the international level if we can reach it. And about pathways, it is basically if you enroll yourself in a course or university, you choose your major. Pathways is like that. But beside the theoretical approach from the modules, we also practice it by delivering prepared speech here and also by taking specific roles to shape our leadership, interpersonal relationship, management, and essential skills regarding our path that we take. So our regular meeting consists of three main agendas, prepared speeches, when our registered member can deliver speech based on the curriculum. The table topics, an impromptu speech. Any one of you guys, either guest, member, or even first timer, you can participate in delivering impromptu speech, just one until two minutes with topic related to meeting team. And also evaluation session, because we believe that there's always room for improvement. As Mr. Kayum said, the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. So we evaluate the prepared speaker from the first session and also the whole meeting. What makes us unique, first of all, network, because we have various people from various background, and we are glad to share insights within this diverse background. We have also creative meeting setups with engaging team. You can see through our social media. Our meeting can be heartwarming, 
motivational and uplifting, and even humorous. And also possibilities of additional agenda. Do we have talents of hidden gem talents like game master, jokes master, and also some kind of educational speech? And also we have opportunities to apply creativity by taking various roles. And also we do in the midweek. I know it is hard to sacrifice our midweek after a tiring work days, but let's do it for the quest of our personal development. To find out more, you can visit hailing.me slash motivator. I hope you enjoy the meeting session. Before we continue to the meeting session, there is a special club meeting agenda for club business agenda for tonight, the new members installation. We are glad to have Toastmaster Yusuf. So Toastmaster Yusuf, you can repeat after me. Okay. okay. I, I, Yusuf Suryadin. Yusuf Suryadin. In the presence of my fellow members. In the presence of my fellow members. Of the Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters Club of the Jakarta Motivators Toastmasters Club make this firm obligation make this firm obligation to attend meetings regularly and prepare fully for each assignment to attend meetings regularly and prepare fully for each assignment to apply myself to the requirements outlined in the Toastmasters educational program to apply myself to the requirements outlined in the Toastmasters educational program to regularly and fully participate in club activities. To regularly and fully participate in club activities. To evaluate others in positive and constructive manners. To evaluate others in positive and constructive manner. To build open and friendly relationships with my fellow members. To build open and friendly relationship with my fellow members and to bring new members into the club so they can also gain the benefits of Toastmasters. And to bring new members into the club so they can also gain the benefits of Toastmasters. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Yusuf. Thank you. Now, in for so my fellow members of Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters Club, let's repeat after me. For our club members, are you ready, guys? Yes. Okay. We. We. The members of Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters Club. The members of the Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters Club. Members of the Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters Club. Pledge to support you. Pledge to support you. In your quest for self development. In your quest for self development. To provide you with positive and helpful evaluations. To provide you with positive and helpful evaluations. To maintain a friendly and supportive atmosphere. To maintain a friendly and supportive atmosphere. To give you opportunities to help others. To give you opportunities to help others. And to make your Toastmasters membership rewarding and fulfilling experience. And to make your Toastmasters reward experience. Thank you very much, my fellow members. So anyone, you can animate yourself for a while and give a big round of applause for Toastmaster Yusuf Suryadin. Thank you very much for being a part of us. I hope you can gain yourself and enjoy the process of your self-development and you can apply it to be beneficial for you in your professional and personal life. And let's move into the theme introduction. You have seen in our poster, our team is from zero to one. And actually, from zero to one is a tagline that we have put in the top right corner of most of our contents. You know why? Because at this moment, we want to give refreshment about why are we here? Because we exist to support you in your quest of self-development from zero to one. 
everyone may have different starting point, right? Perhaps we may feel inadequate in our in terms of our skills, especially public speaking or English. But we need to embrace the diversity and we need to put in our mind the growth mindset that we can improve ourselves gradually from zero to one. Because once again, public speaking is a long-term journey. It is not a sprint, it is a marathon. And we are also glad to have this thing is Toastmaster Alan Ang. Later, he will deliver educational speech. So in typical Toastmasters meeting, we also introduce word of the day. And for tonight, it is evolve a verb to develop gradually or to cause something or someone to develop gradually. Basically, our word of the day is a word that we encourage you to use in this meeting, probably in your speech. If possible, you can put this word so we can put this word also in our mind that we need to evolve to develop gradually, just like the sample sentences that we can see here. And also about the meeting agenda, okay. I will send in the chat box. And this meeting is also supported by team of role takers. I would like to introduce the role takers that will be represented by our general evaluator, Toastmaster Redika. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Am I audible? Definitely. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. All the participants of today's meeting. Uh, I'm here as a general evaluator. I will evaluate the running of the meeting tonight and as well the role takers' responsibilities, whether or not they are doing their jobs properly. And Fortunately, I won't be alone. I will be accompanied with a set of role takers. First, I would love to call the first role taker, a grammarian, Toastmaster Kayum. Could you please explain your role concisely? Yes, I can, Madam General Evaluator. And you. with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having me as your grammarian for today. And what does grammarian do in this meeting? Most of the part that Whenever someone speaks in our virtual space, uh, stage today, I will take notes on their grammatical error. I will take notes on the beautiful quotes, thoughts, and ideas. And thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, is not something that you put here, but something that you say out loud. Because why? When you say it here, no one can see it. No one will know about it. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am also responsible to introduce helped by our Toastmasters of the meeting to introduce it in the beginning of the meeting just now. So I hope that everybody could, you know, evolve from your comfort zone and use the word of the day for today to have fun in the meeting. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, once again, together with me, evolve. Give that back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you for explaining your old Toastmaster Kayum. Again, I would love to remind you to use the word of the day today, evolve in between your sentences, whether it be impromptu speeches or prepared speech. So again, please use, use it as much as you can. Second role taker is word of the day counter for Tosmasa Gabriel. Could you please explain your role very briefly? Thank you, she is Vedika. Uh, for my role today is to note words and sounds that sounds like crush or pause fillers for anyone who speak. So during the meeting, there are three prepared speech, evaluation, and table topic. I will not watch that use fillers like um, uh, or, or repeated words or long pause. And I also note how many WOD that you use evolve. So please use evolve in your speech and table topic speech and evaluation speech. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Gabriel, for explaining your role as well. Uh, next role taker is timer. For the timer, could you please explain your role? All right, thank you, Toastmaster Edika. Hello, is my audible? Sorry. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Luyen, and today I'll serve a role as a partner. So what is the problem? Basically, I will uh, change my background to notify you the time consumption, uh, whether you have like uh, you will be eligible to be voted or you are over time and not eligible to be voted. And for today, there are three sessions. Okay, four sessions here. Uh, the first is the prepared speech, uh, speech session. It will be uh, icebreaker speech from the master Giselle. She will have four to five to seven to six minutes sorry okay to master giselle uh i'll change uh my background to green when you reach four minutes change to yellow when you reach five minutes and when you reach six minutes i will change to red and you will like this, this for 30 seconds okay and i'll jump to the evaluator to master dentia you will have two to three minutes i'll change uh to green when you reach two minutes uh change to yellow when two minutes 30 seconds and three minutes it will be red and you will have 30 minutes to wrap up your evaluation that's for the prepared speaker and evaluator and for dear guests if you would love to join the table topic session uh, please uh, be aware of my background so i'll start with blue you can just continue and then when it it is changed to green then you have reached one minute of uh, your impromptu speech and when it's yellow meaning that you have reached one minute 30 seconds and when it's red meaning that you have consumed two minutes to deliver your speech and you have 30 seconds to wrap up your speech so you'll be eligible to reward it when it's green between green to red and after these seconds after that, meaning that you are not eligible to be voted. So please be aware of my background. That's for the table topics. And for Mr. Mr. Master Ellen, uh, I'm looking forward to the speech. So it will be 10 to 15 minutes of the sharing session and then 10 minutes for the Q&A. I will later consult with you for the, uh, for, uh, for the changes of background. Also, that's all from me. Please pin me whenever you are delivering your speech. So hope you are eligible because you can maintain your time. Back to you, Toastmaster Edika. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Uyun, for as well explaining your role. And I would love to remind everyone here who will participate later on to pay attention to your time. Make sure that you, you won't exit the time limit so you will be eligible to be voted later on for the best speaker or best impromptu speakers and the best evaluators as well. So let's jump to the last role taker, Ballot Hunter. Could you please explain your role? For the Ballot Hunter, are you here? Oh, the ballot it's counter should be Toastmaster. Uyun. Okay, same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's the same person. Okay, so oh. thank you, Toastmaster. <laughs> <I'll record one. laughs> so you take, okay. you take two roles tonight. A uh, double role. So as oh, okay, thank you so much. Ballot counter. So if you're eligible to be voted, you, your name will be listed in the, what is that? The ballot link. So I'll let her share the link in the chat box. And for all of us, uh, members or guests, please use your rights to put the most favorite speaker because that will be meaningful for the speaker as encouragement to their next speeches. Thank you, Vicky, Plus Master Edika. Okay, then all the role takers already explained their roles today. And I would love I would love to give the control back to Tosma. To the Tom tonight. So for the Tom, you can continue on the agenda tonight. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Redika. Now we are moving to the very first agenda, the prepared speech session. We will have one speaker 
Toastmaster Giselle and she will be evaluated by Toastmaster Dentia. So Toastmaster Dentia, the time is yours to introduce Toastmaster Giselle's speech. Ah, sorry, is it me? Because my line is not really clear. Yes. Okay. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, um, we will witness the first ever speech from Toastmaster Giselle. And this is her icebreaker project. And uh, introduce herself to the, to the team or to the club and to practice the basic knowledge of public speaking. So the title of his her speech is This is me and I am proud to be me. Yeah. This is me and I'm proud to be me. That's Master Giselle. Over to you. Thank you, that's Master Dadia. Um okay. This is me and I'm proud to be me. As crazy as it sounds, that's what I put as a headline in my Tumblr 13 years ago. Anyone here still uses Tumblr? I bet no. Some people doesn't even know what Tumblr is, right? Hi, fellow Toastmaster. I am Giselle, uh, or Giselle in Indonesian pronunciation. And since I was a kid, I love all things artsy. And that's basically what my blog that I previously mentioned is all about. I don't write a lot, but I made it as my personal gallery slash art museum, like from portraits of mountains and watercolored pictures all the way to cringy teenage love quotes or perhaps the broken heart version ones too. So from a small passion for arts, I wanted to pursue that for my professional career by taking visual design as my degree major. Alas, my interest towards arts is blocked by my traditional parents. Call me stereotyping, but just like the other Chinese parents do, they forced me to be an entrepreneur, as expected. I sort of understand the weight of expectation they put on me because not only that I am the only child, but I'm also the first grandchild in the family. So cut story short, um, my parents put me in a business school in Singapore and with a heavy heart, I forced my way to graduate from a business and management major. Don't even get me started to talk about my GPA because there's a reason why I don't put that on my CV. My interest towards arts still exists to this day. And that's what brings me into where I am right now in a creative agency, not working as a creative team, but as an account in the uh, client servicing department, all thanks to my business degree. But as I am adulting, I learned to be more grateful of my life and the things I have, though Perhaps I can't draw, but I am surrounded by expert graphic designers. And though I am not fast yet in generating ideas, but I am in an environment where at least they support creativity. And finally, after more than two years working in the agency, I felt comfortable to be on it. As an account, or maybe you may understand my role better with the title of relationship manager, um, in that role, I'm expected to speak a lot be it with clients or with the internal teams. And that's one of my big reasons what I, why I am interested in joining Toastmaster. Um, naturally, I'm a very shy person and I really, really hate it. Often I found myself insecure on how I communicate with people. I overthink about a presentation I did a week ago or that one time where I just spoke in a forum and I felt like my idea was bad. And probably this five-minute speech too, later at night, trust me. But you know, I decided to, to just walk out of my comfort zone and wanting to change that shy trait of mine. In life, I have a great purpose to be impactful to society. And one of the ways I could think of is to achieve that purpose is to become a leader or motivator who does public speaking pretty casually. And I don't think I can achieve it if I keep on being shy and afraid of public speaking, right? I often associate successful or intelligent people with how they talk their minds. Smart people shine differently through their words. And to me, that's really amazing. So as a closing line, I'm excited to see what life has store in me. I still have lots to learn, but I'll get to where I want to be someday. 
just one step at a time and keep evolving and enjoy the ride while I'm on it. So this is me and I'm proud to be me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Toastmaster Giselle for delivering her very first speech, the icebreaker speech. You can unmute yourself. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank you very much for getting us know more about you regarding your educational background and also your desire to deliver impact and start by being a competent speaker. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Gisel. And thank, thank you. you very much, Toastmaster Uyun, for giving the timer report. So now we can move to the second session. I mean, the educational speech that will be led by this thing is Toastmaster Alan Ang. So DTM Alan Ang. The time is yours. Thank you very much, Hans. Let me make sure that my slide is on. Hi, good evening, everyone. If you can hear me and you can see me clearly, can you type in OK in the chat so that I know that everyone is connected and we are doing very well. Great. Let's see everyone putting it in there. This quick question then. How many of you are new to Toastmasters? Or if you are a Toastmasters, can you type in T and then the number of years that you have been in Toastmasters? For example, I have a Toastmasters for two years, so you type T2. If you are a guest, can you just type in G so that I know that how many of you are a Toastmasters and how many of you are still a guest at this moment? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> We're very energetic guests. Huh? <laughs> they respond faster than the Toastmasters. Okay, three years Toastmasters, one year Toastmasters, a lot of guests. All right, all right. So all the fellow guests, who <laughs> are new to Toastmasters. Let me introduce myself. My name is Alan and I come from Brunei and uh, it's a country located in Borneo Island and I've been a Toastmaster since 2013. So today I would like to share with you something that's very close to my heart, which is of course Toastmasters, but specifically how Toastmasters can help you along the way. Or in fact, if you were to join Toastmasters, how do you get the most out of it? Quick question to all the guests. This is a question for all the guests. Yeah, Type in the keyword that why are you here at a Toastmasters meeting? Like what intrigues you? What attracted you to explore about Toastmaster? For the guests first, yeah? I'll, I would address the Toastmasters later on. So guests, and just type in one keyword, like why are you here? What are you looking forward to? Personal development, Yudi. Thank you, Yudi. Personal development. Public speaking. All right, comfort zone. I, I hope you're looking to step out of the comfort zone, not looking to come into a comfort zone. <laughs> All right, Nicholas. And networking, killing time. Oh, I like that. PG is like killing time. Nothing much to do. So I decided to spend two hours on a Wednesday night. All right, Evolve. Ah, nice. Sharing knowledge. Great. So I first came to the Toastmasters. It was invited, I was invited as a guest. Uh, it was because my friend at that point in time wanted to meet one of the Toastmasters member and wanted to sell him insurance. And it was like, Alan, I need to meet up with this guy. I'm trying to sell him insurance. And he asked me to come to this club, very weird one. I don't know what it is. It's called Toastmaster. Can you join me? I said, sure. So we went in. First meeting was an amazing experience. I heard a lot of good speakers. I heard some great table topics as well. But what attracted my attention the most was I saw someone delivering a table topic. It wasn't that great. It was just okay. And I thought, huh, not that great. Then the evaluator came on and said, that was the most amazing table topic that I've ever heard. 
one day you will be the world champion of public speaking. And I thought to myself, hey, uh, oh, these people, uh, they must be caught. Uh, how can they lie in front of everyone? It wasn't a great table topic. The next week, I don't know why, I came back again and I was invited to do a table topic. And my table topic question was, Alan, tell us life as a traffic light. And I was stunned. What do I need to talk about as life as traffic light? What can you talk about? So I went on for two minutes. I didn't know what I was talking about. I think I did pretty badly. When I came off, the evaluator went on and she said, Alan, that was the most beautiful speech I ever heard. One day, you will be the world champion of public speaking. And I thought, hmm, not bad. They're quite honest. So that was my first experience with Toastmasters. And needless to say, after five sessions as a guest, I eventually joined as a member because my first mentor told me, Alan, you've been coming back here over and over again. Might as well you just join. You can get the most out of it. So now that it's been seven, eight years in Toastmasters, and there are specifically three things that I've gained out of it, which I would like to share with you. If you are a guest and you have been attending Toastmasters meeting, wondering should you or should you not join, I hope by the end of my sharing today, you would eventually make up your mind and say, you know what, let's give it a try. If you have been a Toastmasters for a while, I hope this session will help to reignite the fire in you so that you know you have made a good choice to come in here. So if you're ready to start this session, you can type in number two so that I know that you're ready and we can get it rolling. Now, what are the three things that I've gotten from Toastmasters? I call it the three nuggets. Specifically, number one, competency. Number two, confidence. And number three, connections. What is competency? Some of you wanted to come to Toastmasters because you're looking for public speaking skill. Public speaking skill is one of the competency and we don't just only improve on public speaking. Sometimes we try to become a better leader, a better person ourselves. Some of you would want to come in here because you want to be more confident. And most of all, one of you earlier on mentioned, right? One of our guests, Mudita. You mentioned networking and that's connection. Whether you're looking for competency, which means skill set, confidence about yourself, or to know more friends, know more people, to be a network, which is a connection, you can get it all from Toastmasters. Then the next question is, how do you get it? And where did I get it from? Number one, I got it from all the meeting roles. Remember the table topics that I've told you earlier on that I've tempted? Well, it made me into a better person in terms of carrying small conversation. You know, it is not just only answering a table topic, it is asking questions. Question to all of you, how many of you had this challenge? You meet a friend that you are not very familiar with. It may be your colleague, your boss, or someone else that you need to talk to, but you don't know what to talk about. You look at them, they look at you, you hope they ask you some questions, they don't because they are waiting for you. And in your mind, you're thinking, I wish I knew or I wish I could say something. Have you ever been in that situation? If yes, type in me. If you have been in that situation, type in me. <laughs> you're one of those persons who are thinking, what can I talk about? How can I start a conversation? If you are in the shoe, Table Topic Master is a role that can help you. Why? Every week, you are given a task to ask questions. Because as a Table Topic Master, you need to come up with a very creative topic. Now, I'm not talking about, please tell me about your family. Tell me about your pet. <laughs> These are more intriguing questions. For example, how has pandemic changed your life professionally? Or you can ask questions about working from home or working from office. Which one do you prefer? So week in, week out, not only you get to answer a table topic, you get to exercise your mind in asking questions. Why? Because the skill to ask an appropriate questions invite good answers. And when you invite good answer, people find you friendly, they like you, and they want to build relationship with you. Some of you might feel that, oh, you know what, English is not my first language. How many of you has English as your second or your third language? Type in number five, okay? Type in number five if English is not your first language. The same as me. My first language is Mandarin. 
So if you notice the accent that I've spoken in, most people will ask me, Alan, are you from Singapore? Because somehow it sounded like you speak Singlish. I used to feel ashamed about it. Now, I don't. Because you know what? Being a grammarian helped me to have that confidence. Every week in, week out, you try to be a grammarian, you learn one new word. You might be thinking, one new word a week, nothing much. However, 26 weeks for a bi-weekly meeting helps you to have 26 new words in your vocabulary. I'm someone who started without knowing what a verb and what is a noun, okay? I only know what is an adjective. But today, because of the grammarian, it allows me to have confidence to become a trainer. Trainer in what? In presentation skills and soft skills. So those are different types of meeting roles that can help you to gain confidence and competency. The question to you is, what do you want to get out of it? Because if you do not know what you want to get out of it, it is very hard for us to provide you the platform to learn. So if you understand what I've shared with you with regards to meeting role, can you type in MR, right? Meeting roles, MR. This is one of the first many things, one of the many things that you can gain confidence and competencies in a Toastmasters journey. All right, so if you understand this part, type in MR, then I can move on to point number two. MR stands for meeting role. Second, what's in it for you? How to get the most out of the Toastmasters journey is prepared speeches. Earlier on, we have a beautiful and amazing prepared speech by our Toastmasters. You know, this was one of her first, very first speech in, um, in Toastmasters. And she introduced herself to us. And I think it's something that is very applaudable because this is something that is amazing. How often do you get to have a lot of people listening to you for four, six, seven minutes talking about a topic? Most likely you'll be listening to someone else, right? But here, you get to work on your speech, you get to write, you get to improve. One of the best ways to improve your communication skill is through writing. Writing what? Writing prepared speeches. And earlier on, when I was sitting down listening to Giselle, I thought that was a beautifully delivered speech. It may be her first icebreaker, but it didn't feel like one. And I thought, wow, only if I started my journey that way, probably I'll become a better speaker today. So prepared speech is a place for you to gain confidence. Not just only speaking, but understanding how to evaluate a speech. You might be thinking, Alan, what's the point of having being good as an evaluator? Most of the gentlemen in here, have you ever been asked this question by your girlfriend or by your wife? If your mother and me were to fall into the river, who would you save? If you have been asked this question, type in yes. Or if you have been put in a very tough situations before, type in yes. Or your girlfriend or your spouse look at you and say, do you think I'm beautiful? And you are lost for word. How should I answer questions like this? You see, sometimes giving a feedback, giving an evaluation is like handling situations like this, right? My wife used to ask me, am I beautiful? And I would tell her, yes, of course you're beautiful, you know? And she asked me, how so? I don't know, because you can only say yes or no. Now you learn how to evaluate, right? You learn to give more meaning to it. So that is what you can get out of prepared speech. If you understand this part, type in PS, standing for prepared speech. Thirdly, what can you get out of a Toastmasters meeting? It's through contest and conference. For those of you who are Toastmasters member, you know every year we have at least three to four different speech contests. Those are the times that you can participate, put your skills and see how good you are with other speakers. You might say that, you know what, Alan, I'm not someone who likes to compete. It's okay. Don't compete against others. Compete against yourself. See how far you have come. And when you are joining all those conferences, you get to meet every different people from different parts of the world. District 87, where you, we are in right now, Indonesia, East Malaysia, Brunei, Australia, New Zealand. These are people that you get to know too, right? Instead of just being a Facebook friend, you get to see them in person. That's what you can get out of a Toastmasters meeting out of a Toastmasters club. So if you're someone who loves networking, you must attend a conference. There is one coming up next month called the Surabaya Conference. If you want to know more information, talk to Hans. If you understand this point, type in CC, standing for Contest and Conference. That is the number three things that you can get out of a Toastmaster meeting. Number four, 
By being a club exco, you learn how to take on a leadership role. Questions to every one of you in here, especially the guests. Have you ever been in the situations where you're at work, your boss, your manager asks you to chair a meeting and you look at him and her and say, how to chair a meeting? And when you chair a meeting, you don't know what to do. If you're in this position, type in number eight, right? If you are in the position where you don't know how to chair a meeting, type in number eight. And if you are in this situation, type in eight, ha, 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 as well. <laughs> like one of our guests, <laughs> baby. Why? Because sometimes it is very hard because you don't know what to say. You don't know how to hold on to it. However, when you become a president, when you become a club exco, you have the opportunity to hold meetings. You have an opportunity to understand how agenda works. You even have the opportunity to attend an executive council meeting where you get to vote as if you are a shareholder in the company. Where can you get this experience? In Toastmasters. And in Toastmasters, when you're holding this position, when you make a mistake, it's okay. Nobody's going to punish you. Nobody's going to fire you. You won't need to resign. But at work, you don't have that luxury. Why not take that opportunity to take on leadership role to have that experience on how to conduct meeting in a bigger scale? That is the number four advantage or things that you can get out of Toastmasters meeting. If you understand this point, type in CE, standing for Club x -Core. And last but not least, of course, is the district leadership role. You might be wondering, what is a district executive uh, leadership role? In a company, you have someone working as employee, you have a management role, you have the shareholder, and then you have the director. These are all the directors in district. These are people who plan strategically and try to help 2,000 to 2,500 people in achieving their personal development goal. These are all the roles equivalent to a company. A district director is like a CEO. A program quality director can be like a CMO, right? A club of director is a CMO. Public relations is a chief public relations officer. Finance manager, a CMO. So all of these roles are quite close to what you see in a organization. So when we are in organizations, when we're in that role, we don't have chance to make mistakes. But here you get a full 12 months to learn while you're in that position. And the best thing, you have people guiding you, not just only in Indonesia, not just only in Malaysia or Brunei, you have people as far as from our HQ in the States that is guiding you, that is providing you support. So that is the number five benefit that you can get out of a Toastmasters setting. If you understand this part, type in DL, standing for district leadership. So above what I've shared with you are five different areas that you can get competence, you can gain confidence, and you can improve on your connections with different people. I don't know why you are in this meeting today. I hope you came in here because you believe that you can get something out of it. If you're still not sure what you can get out of it, think about what you lack in life. Think about what is that one thing that can push you over your comfort zone right now whether it is skill set whether it is confidence that helps you in the long run or whether it is building more networking for yourself either way all these three nuggets are very much available for you in a toastmaster setting the questions back to you is is not how much toastmasters can provide for you but what do you want and how do you want to get the most out of the toastmaster journey and that it's my 15 minutes sharing about Toastmasters. And I hope I somehow, in one way or another, enlighten you with some information. And I will open up for 10 minutes for Q&A. So if you have any questions, by all means, ask away. I'll try to answer as much as I can. So just type in me, raise your hand, or you can just unmute yourself and ask any questions. And we have 10 minutes for that, so we'll take a minimum of three questions. So who would like to have the first question? You so. Uh, uh, yeah, I would like to ask you a question about the uh, timeline or, or is it okay for me to- Yeah, sure, uh, sure, sure. Uh, ask a question. Uh, since that uh, it is uh, regularly uh, meeting on a Wednesday, uh, but uh, I think it is not possible for me to uh, fo follow 
uh, every week uh, uh, I mean, diligently. Is it possible for me to skip one or two or also uh, maybe uh, will be lost in uh, like a month or two? Because, uh, you know, it is, it is uh, impossible for us to, uh, to follow. Uh, uh, and then also, oh, what about your uh, experience on these uh, measures? Thank you very much, Soap. Everyone, let's uh, type in why in the chat first. Why for you, Soap? Okay, for raising the hand and asking the first question. Let's give him some encouragement, right? So, number one, you Soap, Toastmasters is not a school. So don't worry, no one is going to penalize you for missing out a session. If Hans penalize you, tell me, because I'll go and tell someone else, this guy, so mean one, <laughs> okay? Toastmasters is a very self-paced development program. So which means when I come in here, I get to choose what kind of program that I want to go into. And within the time, whenever I'm available, I would attend a meeting. So the reason for attending a meeting is to get support. You know, what's the best thing about it? Once you're part of the mods or once you're part of Jakarta Motivators, you also gain access to other clubs as well. Not just only in Indonesia, you can even get to visit. Like for example, now I'm in Brunei, I don't need to take a two hour flight to go to Jakarta. <laughs> I hop onto my computer and I get to visit all of you and learn from each other. So the pacing, the timing of how much, how often you want to meet and what's the frequency is really up to you. So what I would strongly encourage you to do is this work. If you're really interested, then maybe the first question to ask is, what do I want to get out of this program? If I want to improve on my public speaking skill, for example, then the next question is, how much time can I commit on a monthly basis? Let's say if I can commit to only two and a half hours, it is okay because two and a half hours is better than zero. You have a first start and then you slowly build onto it. All right? I hope I answer your question. Thank you very much, Yusuf. We have a second question by Yudi. Can you share how you have commitment to join Toastmasters for a long period of time from Yudi? Thank you very much for your question. Now, some people might ask me, Alan, for seven or eight years, well, you're very committed. Huh? Uh, the answer is, uh, I am half committed also. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. When I joined Toastmasters, I just got married for two years. Two years, well, the second year of being a Toastmasters, I have my firstborn. Four years later, I have my second child. Now, I need to run my business as well. Do I commit myself a lot to Toastmasters? The answer is, I stay committed to a certain period amount of time. When I'm a member, I commit to attending club meetings. I commit to doing my prepared speech because it's for my own self. I want to develop, I want to grow. When I take on that leadership role, of course the commitment is bigger because now I need to take care of more people because I want to learn as well. So for the last three years, my commitment is a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, I need to give a little bit more commitment to the club, to the, not just only to the club, but in fact, to the whole district. So how do I manage this? Is also going back to the question, what do I want from it? In between 2016 and 17, it is a slow two years for me. So I took my time, take my time away from Toastmasters a little bit, join the meeting whenever I have time. Because the first two to three years, I join every week, right? Then it comes to a point where I feel like, okay, I want to take a break. I took a break. And then I felt like I wanted to learn more, then I come back in. So it is the same how I answer your questions, Yudi, the same as how I answer you, Sof, as well. It's based on what you want to get out of it. So once you have an idea, you will commit to it. It's the same thing. If I want to build muscle, I want to be a bodybuilder, I have to commit my time to working out. If I want to lose weight, I have to commit my time to it as well. If I want to be good at public speaking, I have to commit my time to that as well. So it's all down to your personal choice. Right, Yudi? I hope I answered your questions. Thank you. There's two questions, everyone. We are doing good. That's 66.67% done. One more questions. Anyone who would like to ask any question? Nicholas. Yeah, can I ask? Uh, okay. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, I would like to know uh, because right now we are hosting this uh, in a Zoom, right? Uh, yeah. I'm sure is Toastmaster is actually um, previously is done live, but uh, mm -hmm. what, in your perspective, what, uh, how effective 
does this kind of online meeting to develop us? Does it actually give us an advantage because perhaps for some people that are more shy, they are they are will will, will be willing to be participate more in here. But uh, is this a uh, disadvantage actually? Because if mm. we do it in Zoom, but when we try to step up on the live event, we will have uh, some problems. What 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 is mm. your? Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Okay, everyone, before I go on to that, earlier on, we had a second question that was from Yudi as well, right? Everybody type in why as well. Why for Yudi? We need to appreciate Yudi for asking questions. We forgot to acknowledge him. And then, Nicholas, we're going to type in N, N for Nicholas. Because Nicholas asked a question as well. That is a very good question from you, Nicholas. The question was, now that those masses can be conducted offline and online, would we have any disadvantage if we started from online first? The answer is no. Both platforms are equally important. Let me share with you my point of view. I started Toastmasters for, as a physical meeting, face-to-face -face meeting. So I got really comfortable speaking in front of people. When pandemic happens, we shift everything to online. I thought it was easier. But let me tell you this. Speaking on a virtual platform is way harder than speaking face-to-face. -face. Speaking on a virtual platform is way harder than speaking face-to-face. -face. Why? Number one, there may be lagging effect. Do you know why I constantly ask for your feedback? It's because I'm trying to gauge, is there any lagging time between me and you? Number two, you have people joining and then, like most of you, I can't see your face. I could only see your name. I don't know whether you're smiling at me, laughing at me, or you're actually away from the computer. It got me worried. Number three, as I speak, the connection might not be doing so well, so my words may be cut off. And it is harder to give all those emotions because I'm speaking to a camera, you know, I'm looking through the camera right now, hoping that you will feel my emotions. So it is way harder when it is through a virtual platform. So when I switched to a virtual platform, I had to relearn everything. Recently, we started to move back to physical. So in my line of business as well as a trainer, as a speaker, it's the same thing. This morning, I had two days of training sessions in physical. I was really excited because I get to see people again. However, suddenly, I feel like, you know, the amount of things that I've learned from virtual actually helped me to handle physical crowd right now. Because in virtual, I can't see anyone, right? I think they're listening to me. I need to control my pacing. When I go back to a face-to-face -face meeting, I can see every one of them. I managed to control the crowd even better. So there's a stronger crowd management skill. There's a stronger audience management skill over there. Both platforms, face-to-face and virtual, have its own advantage and disadvantage. But both are equally important. If you want to scale your network, you want to meet people overseas in the most budget way, of course, it's through Zoom. So you must learn how to do online meeting. If you want to be a better speaker in person, of course, you have to go to a face-to-face. -face. That's why joining Toastmasters right now is a perks because you get to do both. You get to learn both worlds. So I think it is an advantage. A lot more things for us to gain at this moment right now. Nicholas, I hope I answer your question. Thank you. You're welcome. I saw the red light, but I see someone raising their hand. Uyun, uh, Uyun, let me get the last question, yeah? All right, so that will be from Ekma. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Ellen and all Toastmaster members. I'm Ikma, and I'm the first timer here. Uh, thank you for your explanation. Uh, actually, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, this Toastmaster club is interesting. Um, and actually, my brain is still loading about uh, the activities. Mm, but and I would like to ask, uh, if I join now or frequently joining later, am I considered as member? And also, will we have the opportunity to practice the speaking in the future meeting session? And uh, and how will how will we do it? Uh, I mean, like, is it spontaneous in the meeting, or will we get the topic first in advance? Uh, yeah, uh, that's all. I'm sorry for asking many questions. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. First of all, 
please do not apologize when they ask a question because that's what we <laughs> wanted. Everybody type in I in the chat. We need to appreciate Ekma for asking a question. That was a good question. So what you were asking is, if I were to join as a member right now, how does it work in terms of speaking opportunity? And what is the difference being a guest? Now, I'll tell you exactly what my mentor told me that got me join the Toastmasters in 2013. I joined as a guest because I realized that as a guest, I can learn as well because I was sitting, I was listening to a lot of people. And once in a while, I get to raise my hand and say, I would like to do a table topics. But that's it. Your learning is limited to that only. So my mentor told me this and he said, Alan, if you really wanted to learn, join as a member because when you join as a member, not only you get to work on your table topic, you get to work on your prepared speech. Now prepared speech, is a five to seven minute speech where you need to write your own topic. So that's the time where you kind of do some journaling, you kind of do some self-reflections and write down topics of your own interest and then you share it to the club. It's like you introducing your world to everyone. That is an advantage of being a member. Second, being a member, you had an opportunity to give evaluation. So for example, early on when Giselle delivered her speech, then as an evaluator, you'll be able to give feedback. Part of giving feedback allows you to be a better person in terms of a communicator, in terms of how to give feedback in a way that people like to listen to. Because sometimes we are more used to criticism rather than a constructive feedback. So that's advantage number two. Number three, when you become a member, you have the opportunity to take on roles. For example, becoming a grammarian, become a postmaster of the meeting, and these are the benefits. So you might be thinking Toastmaster of the meeting seems like a very difficult job, like an MC. However, this is my personal experience. I was being called to MC an event and I look blank because I've never done an MC before. But after joining Toastmasters, doing a few rounds of Toastmasters of the meeting, I understand how to write up an agenda, how to make sure that we stay in time, specifically time management skill, because a lot of people are very weak with time management. You give them 10 minutes, they will speak for 30 minutes. You give them 30 minutes, they will speak for three days. <laughs> so after three days, you still do not know what they're talking about. That's why right now, I'm very aware of the timing. Right? Let's say right now it's red color. That's why I ask for permission. Can I take on the last question? So all of these skills are something that you could pick up as a member. So how can you join as a member? I think I will leave that to Hans so that he can reach out to you and share with you more information about that. But for me personally, three things that I've mentioned as a prepared speech, as an evaluator, and as a role player. These are three of the most fundamental things that you can learn when you join as a member. And these are only limited for members because as a guest, you are only able to sit outside, listen to it, and only attend a table topic. I hope I answer your question. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Alan. It's uh, very clear, yes. You're welcome. All right, everyone. Before I hand the control of the stage over back to every uh, to the Toastmasters of the meeting, I just want to leave all of you with some, some thoughts, and this will be my parting thoughts to you. You see, we all think that, we all choose to believe that we want to improve and we aim for self-development. That's why we reach out to different platforms, whether it is Toastmasters or any other organizations, and we say that, I want to learn, I want to become better. But the best way to learn is not to stand outside watching. The best way to learn is actually to get in and grow from within. If somehow you're already here today, you have nothing to lose. You come in here, you learn something, you move on. That's fine. But if you make a decision and say that today, somehow I think I'm inspired to take an action, then hold on to that action because tell yourself this, Give yourself one year, 12 months, and put all you can into this platform. If you get nothing out of it, so be it. It's 12 months only. You still have a long way in life. But what if in the next 12 months, you learn something and it's the beginning of a transformational journey for you? Wouldn't that be one of the best decisions that you've made in life? So if you're 50-50 on the fence, this is what I'll tell you. Make it 51%. Say yes first, figure out later. 
And if you don't know how, Hans and everybody else is in here. That's the reason why we are here as a community. So Toastmasters is not just a club, it's a community where everybody wants you to be successful. So with that, I thank you for your time. Thank you for being a wonderful audience and asking all those questions. I enjoy my session here and I would like to hand the control back to our Toastmasters for the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, DTM Allen, for an insightful and uplifting moment for us. It is such a refreshment for us to reignite the spark in Toastmasters, not only for guests and first timer, but also for the established members, including me. And I would like to send an appreciation certificate of appreciation for you. through this Zoom session. So could you please hold your pose in three, two, one. Okay, thank you very much, DTM Allen. And yes, regarding the, regarding the membership, feel free to connect with us through hailing.me slash motivators. We have the contact person in that link. And also you can DM us through Instagram at Jakarta Motivators. Or if you want to be more personal, you can contact me through Instagram at Hans Tampu or perhaps Toastmaster Melissa if you want to promote yourself too. <laughs> Uh, you can contact us through the Jakarta Motivator Instagram page and I will be the one who reply to you. Yes, thank you very much, Toastmaster Melissa. And also we have a public WhatsApp group if you want to connect through each other and share insights, network well. We will share the link later near the end of the meeting. And what is our upcoming agenda? Oh, to take the photo. So, ladies and gentlemen, please turn on your camera whenever possible, and we will have, we will take how many times? Twice, yeah, because we will have two pages. Okay, this is for the first one. Okay, while while waiting for you to turn on. Okay, this is the first one. Yeah, hold your position in three, two. One, okay. And then for the second page, wait. Hold your position in three, two, one, okay. Thank you very much, guys. What is our upcoming agenda? One of the most awaited for especially for guests and first timers it is the table topic session that will be led by Toastmaster Melissa Toastmaster Melissa the time is yours okay thank you Toastmaster Hans and also thank you again Toastmaster Alan for explaining to us via your educational speech about how to get the most out of Toastmasters and you already uh, explain a bit about table topic uh, session and this is the session where everyone can join whether you are a Toastmaster member, a visiting Toastmasters, a recurring guest or even if you are the first timer in Toastmasters club in this meeting. Uh, I believe that Toastmaster Hans had already explained at the at the very beginning of our meeting but let me explain to you once again for you who are not familiar with the concept so what is table topic session table topic session is a session when we challenge you to to uh we challenge you to push your limits and in impromptu speech in making impromptu speech when i the table topic master i will give you a mystery question a mystery prompt and you as the challengers are expected to give a one until two minute speech uh, regarding into that topic or that question and there will be the timer Toastmaster Uyun who will time you uh, the challenger and you who 
are within the time limit, one until two minutes, and the maximum is two, two minutes and 30 seconds, you are eligible to be voted as our most favorite table topic speakers. And for this meeting, I have six questions. Um, I will uh, put the form on the chat box. And it is kind of special because I see a lot of first timers and a lot of guests. But I will divide the session into two sessions. The first session is for members only. And this is for the members uh, that the members can give an, ex uh, an example about how to do table topics. So the first, uh, the first session, I would like the members, the visiting Toastmasters, or maybe the, oh yeah, only for the members and the visiting Toastmasters to give examples about how to do table topics. And then we will have four guests who are interested to join, who are interested to challenge themselves to join this table topic session. Is there anyone who would like to challenge themselves? Yes, thank you, Tosmasa Uyun, for the speakers. Please look at her color signals and don't forget to use our word of the day, which is evolve. Is there anyone who wants to challenge? Who wants to do the table topic session? Let me try. Uh, wait, who is that? Me. Hey, thank you, Toastmaster Dentia. Okay, can anyone see my screen? Um, not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. Connection, yeah. I think that's Master Melissa's connection is not really good, right? Or is it just me? Yeah, Master Melissa. Oh, uh, sorry, I had technical difficulties. So maybe I will just uh, say the question. So there will be no more technical issues. So the first question for Tosna Saldentia is our first challenger of the night's meeting. Imagine that you are talking to your younger self. What accomplishment would your younger self be most proud to see that you've achieved? Imagine that you are talking to your younger self. What accomplishment would your younger self be most proud Proud to see that you've achieved. Thank you, Tosmas and Melissa, for the questions. It's interesting to hear this question because as a mindfulness practitioner, I do this often. I revisit my childhood, especially when it comes to inner child healing. There were times in my life when I feel down and I felt that my life did not go uh, according to my plan. And I see so many friends of mine achieve more and then be successful. And in those times, I feel like I'm not as good as them. Uh, but then after being a mindfulness practitioner, I realized that you don't need to focus on so many things in life. You just need to focus on yourself. Because the moment you realize your true potential, the moment you be able to recognize yourself, you will know what you want to do in life. And knowing what to do in life doesn't have to uh, mean that you will be at the same place as your friends or your colleagues or your relatives. You will have your own path and that path is the one that you need to pursue. That path 
is the 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 one that will make you happy and that part is the one that will make you feel content of your life so if i were to speak with my uh, child inner child or my younger version of mine i will say that i'm content of my life right now though i haven't achieved what i want to achieve but i'm on the right way and hopefully soon enough i will i will achieve what i want um, by focusing on being me and focusing on myself at the at the moment. Back to you. Thank you, Tosan Salindia, for your sharing. Uh, and I'm glad that my question is, uh, you can give a good example about this question about to reflect in our past and making a good use of it and being better because of we reflect on the past and uh, thank you so much and now let's move on to our second uh contender is there anyone who wants to try the table topic session anyone can join because those muscle dentia had already give a perfect example of how to do the table how to answer or how to challenge yourself in a table topic session is there anyone who would like to try you can raise your hand or you can put your name on the chat box. Okay, you can try. Oh, okay. Uh, Toastmaster Yusuf, uh, thank you for trying. Okay, so Toastmaster Yusuf, are you there? I'm here. Okay. So the question that I have for you is what is the thing that you never expected to be doing in the past but now turns out you excel in it what is the thing that you never expected to do in the past but now turns out you excel in it I will also put the question on the chat box Okay. Thank you. So, uh, can I start now? What is the thing that you never expected to be doing in the past, but turns on uh, turns out excelling in it? Basically, uh, I uh, study at uh, of. Uh, uh, STM or technical school in my high school, and uh, I turned out to be uh, to uh, study as an accountant in uh, state colleges accounting, and turned out I'm excellent on it. Uh, since I now work as a, a, a auditor of government, excellent, excellent, excellent auditor of governments and now my partner I'm sorry my uh, so uh, I, my partner is uh, uh, central government of Indonesia so basically now I see myself is not bad at doing this and uh, maybe I'm good at uh, doing an auditing and maybe that uh, I will say to my uh, a young self that uh, you can do it and uh, basically that uh, you can evolve and uh, turn out that uh, it is good for me and uh, maybe uh, can uh, 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 influence others maybe my my friends and also my colleagues to do uh, things that maybe uh, they don't think that they can do it so uh, that is my uh, topic for now. Thank you. Thank you, Tosmaster Yusuf, for your sharing about the thing about, uh, I'm sorry, the thing that you never expected to be doing in the past, but turns out that you excel on it. And now we have the next contender, which is soon to be Tosmaster Deddy. Soon to be Tosmaster Deddy, are you there? Yes, I hope I'm audible to you. Yes. 
Oke, okay, so Toastmaster, sen to be Toastmaster Daddy, I have this one question for you. If you Please could improve... give me the hard way. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Everyone have the same difficulties, so it is fair. <laughs> If you right. could improve any single skill or talent that you have, which would you choose and why? If you could improve any single skill or talent that you have, which mm -hmm. talent or skill would you choose and why? All right, let me think for 30 minutes, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, okay. Okay, good. All right. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dedi, and thank you so much for the opportunity. If I have to choose one skill that I really want to excel, and I actually, I keep doing it for a couple of years already, is that public speaking. As an introvert, I challenge myself to be able to speak better in my life so that I can communicate better and achieve better and greater achievements in my life. Public speaking skill is something that I really uh, hope to excel with because that's what you can actually, uh, that is really what you require to be able to be uh, the good person in your life because everything requires communication and to communicate better, you need to also excel the public speaking skills. I will look up uh, into my old days where actually I grew up in a rural area where I don't We didn't have electricity so that we can actually facilitate ourselves better to learn better in our life. I couldn't communicate better because we we're just in the small town or the small village that we can just communicate with someone else. And then after I moved out to bigger city, I learned that public speaking is really important. And it gave me the idea that life is just like a small town that your persevering effort to learn about the public speaking or any skill that you have is just like a stone that you throw to that pound. It doesn't matter how small the stone is or how deep it shrinks down to the pound, but it still makes the ripples in that pound. So that I think what I keep doing is that I want to improve my public speaking skill. And that's how I've been doing for a couple of years even though my background is actual engineering. So it's not really supporting the idea of how I can improve my public speaking. But I kept joining several commu uh, communities like Toastmaster, thanks to the Toastmaster, it evolves my ability to improve my public speaking skills. And thank you for everyone who's supporting it, such like Ms. Uyun, who's really encouraging me to speak better and better. And thank you, Mr. Allen, for enlightening the way that no matter how good you're speaking in table topic speaker is actually just a part of how people here encourage you. So I think that's all for my impromptu topic. Thank you so much. And yeah, good evening, everyone. Oh, thank you soon to be Toastmaster Daddy. Thank you for sharing uh, your insight on public speaking. And I can see that you have already evolved in your public speaking skills. Um, uh, and good luck in your future endeavor in evolving your public speaking skills as well. Okay, so do we have our next challenger? Is there anyone who would like to try? We still have three questions left. Maybe the first timers who would like to try. Maybe you are being inspired by Toastmaster Allen's uh, speech about how to get the most out of Toastmasters, and you would like to, uh, you would like to try a bit about how is Toastmasters' uh, experience is like. And now, yes, we have uh, soon to be Toastmaster Yudi. Okay, soon to be Toastmaster Yudi. Uh, I have this one question for you. Not difficult. So the question. <laughs> Everyone have the same difficulties, maybe. <laughs> okay, I feel, so I feel nervous. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be nervous. Just uh, stay calm. And if you maybe it it is the, your first. Is it your first time in joining Toastmasters meeting? Yeah. Okay. So thank you for joining and thank you for challenging yourself. And if in the middle of your speech, uh, you 
are at a loss of words of you feel that, that your mind is blank it's okay uh we can wait and just keep on with your speech and don't worry about anything else don't worry about the grammar or don't worry about the content just try your best and just try to let out what what it is on your mind and good luck and the question is what is your life's philosophy and what can you do to ensure that you are living it every day what is your life philosophy or your life principle and what can you do to ensure that you are living that philosophy every day okay uh, thank you uh postmaster melissa what is your life philosophy and what can you do to ensure that you are living it every day uh the my daughter is the the study uh uh from from uh so will be will be leaping of spirit from 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 me and then the first the first the the message i i give to to her is the uh you will be meet the stranger people in the other country and and you have to to know you have to select that there is choice for you to select the good or the the bad but only you have to choice is only better and good so you select the better don't select the good and then don't thinking about the the bad this is the the the, the philosophy that that i try to to do in my life and then another one is the uh, there is one quote same action same result different action and different result so it means that if you if i'm not coming to this meeting i will be same that my speaking or my my knowledge will be will be will be same like before but because i decided to click the the invitation from the the, the toastmaster the motivator toastmaster club and then I have the, the different results so it means uh, the same action same result different action as different extract this is another another the philosophy that that i want to to to, to use every day that you have to to choose which one the good and which one the better and then if you not doing anything the result will be same and you have to do something so you'll be have another another result that's all from from me uh postmaster melissa thank you thank you soon to be toastmaster yudi for sharing your life philosophy i really really like that and i'm sure our grammarian is already noting that down um I, and we have uh, two more uh, challengers that already put their name on the chat box. And our fifth contender for tonight's table topic session is soon to be Toastmaster Nicholas. Soon to be Toastmaster Nicholas, are you there? Hello, Mbak Melissa. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, so I have this one question for you. And the question is, what are the three things that you are most grateful for in your life? What are the three things that you are most grateful for in your life? Okay. Okay, let me start. The first one should be my parents because without my parents, I won't be here. And it uh, it doesn't matter for, for me personally. Yeah, uh, It doesn't matter if we are born rich or we are born poor, uh, as long as uh, we don't die poor, uh, that's the philosophy. So uh, I'm really grateful for my parents because um, they support me uh, from young till uh, uh, till I am right now. Uh, and the second things is all my previous bosses because uh, all my previous bosses uh, teach me a lot in life, uh, not only in work, but in, uh, in, yeah, in, in, in life, basically. So uh, they, they teach you how do you treat people. Basically, um, what the school don't teach you, it's taught in the workplace. And uh, sometimes in the workplace, uh, it's uh, they don't taught you nicely. But in the end of the day, once you look back and uh, you realize that you have evolved and you have transformed uh, into a better person because of them, because of the hard life. And the third one is um, what I'm grateful for is my friends, because um, we all know that uh, we are the average of five people we are around. 
So uh, I'm I'm grateful that uh, I have uh, a lot of supportive friends, and even right now in Toastmaster, I think every one of you is um, I'm really grateful for uh, the supportive community that I'm here, and it's allow the the transformation to happen uh, hopefully and evolve everyone here to be a better person and to be successful in life. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Sun to be Toastmaster Nicholas for sharing your uh, top three that you're most grateful for in your life. And I spot the word of the day there. And I believe that our uh, NWO counter is very happy to hear that. And we have our last contender, uh, Sun to be Toastmaster Mudita. Sun to be Toastmaster Mudita, are you there? Yes, hello. Okay, so. The last but not least, I reserve the very special uh, question for you. And the question is, do you compare yourself to others? And how can you stop unhealthy comparison in its track? Do you compare yourself to others? And how can you stop unhealthy comparison in its tracks? I will put the question on the chat box. Yes, thank you, Melissa. Even as we speaking right now, I am still comparing myself to others. Am I doing well enough? Am I, am I, am I better than the others? I am still comparing myself, even as we speaking now. Um, and I know that it is a very unhealthy habit. But uh, as a person who strives for perfection, I always compare myself with others achievements so whenever i hear that my friends has achieved uh, a good a good job a good position i feel like oh no i'm i uh, uh, i felt left out i'm sorry for being nervous here <laughs> anyway uh so um i believe uh i i have tried to address that unhealthy habit by stop by stopping to compare myself to others by learning to focus on myself by by maybe like uh, one of the toastmasters have stated before meditating uh, mindfulness i start to focus on myself uh, i start to think that um, this is my life we have our own races I believe <laughs> um, we so my life is my life and yours is yours. Beauty is in the eyes of beholder. What is good for them? Uh, maybe it will be different for me. So um, I think I try to implement that kind of mindset in my mind. Uh, I think that's my answer. <laughs> Sorry for being nervous. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, uh, Sun to be Toastmaster Mudita, for your answer. And you didn't sound nervous at all. And thank you for uh, challenging yourself. Thank you for taking the chance. And I'm sorry for uh, I see some people raise their hands to join this table topic session. But unfortunately, we already hit the time limit. And you can challenge yourself in table topic session, which we will have. Two weeks from now our on our next online meeting and i see that toastmaster uyun had already given the timer report and congratulations that all of you good job you are all eligible to be voted and thank you everyone for joining this table topic session i believe that our grammarian has noted down a lot of beautiful phrases and quotes because you guys you guys gave so much insight and good things, just good things to share with all of us here. And I will give back the control to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Hans. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Melissa, for conducting the table topic session very well. Now we are waiting for you guys to vote. Let's vote for our favorite table topic speaker from the link that 
it's provided in the chat box. And let's wait just one minute. We give you a chance to vote, okay? By the way, while waiting, I need one volunteer to wrap up this session. How do you feel in just one sentence? Anyone? Excellent. Okay, thank you very much, Sintu Bitos Master Yudi. Any others? Okay, Evolutionary. One. Excellent. Revolutionary. Okay. I requested one sentence, but okay, let's move into one word only. It's okay. Excellent. Revolutionary. Any other? Fantastic from Kayum. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Evolving. Ah, yes, I like it. And uh, what counter? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Evolving to a better speaker. Inspiring. Thank you very much, guys. Of course, we can evolve from one meeting. But remember, evolving from one meeting is just like we are from this step into this step. But evolving after one year can be like this. Evolving in five years or more can be far, far away. Significant because of the compound interest. Perhaps some of you guys are into finance and investment. We know the compound interest. We can grow exponentially through the time. Or if you are a mathematician, yes, you know the exponential function. That is why don't just rely on one meeting. Let's cherish the progress. And now, okay, let's move on into the next session, evolution session. So I hope you guys have voted already. The evolution session will be led by Toastmaster Redika. So Toastmaster Redika, the time is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, the Tom, since we are running out of time as well, I will I will make these sessions run faster than usual. So I will lead the sessions today tonight. Tonight, first we will have an evaluation sessions. The evaluation session the evaluation session will be will be started with the evaluator individual evaluation from from an evaluator. So we will have the evaluator from the first speaker, Toastmaster Dendia, who will evaluate the, the, our prepared speaker tonight. So for Toastmaster Dendia, could you please deliver your report today in regard to, the, to our prepared speaker speech today? Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Radika and Toastmaster Giselle or am I pronouncing your name correctly? Well done and congratulations on your first ever speech. Yeah, so uh, thank you for sharing uh, the details about yourself. Although this is my first time to see you in the meeting, but I feel like I'm getting to know you better. Uh, you mentioned about your passion in arts and then how you joined the business school because of the push of your parents. You have a good opening, first of all, uh, it got me interested. And then you have a good clarity. Uh, I can easily understand your story. And it doesn't seem like you. this is your first time doing the speech. You have already introduced the vocal variety in your speech. Well done to that as well. And uh, to help you evolve in the next speech, I would like to offer two suggestions and only two, because that was a uh, Excellent, an excellent uh, icebreaker, I would say. So I don't have much to offer, only two that maybe can help you evolve in the next one. The first one is the eye contact. You see in doing the um, online meeting, like the Tim Allen Ang previously mentioned that we need to focus on the camera so that as if we are talking to everyone here in the room. So that I think one thing that you need to work on first because I saw that your eyes looking a bit uh, burned down. So I could not 
uh, feel the connection uh, when you're delivering your speech. Uh, the second one is to explore on more pauses. Though you have a good vocal variety already, but it's good to introduce the pause uh, in related to the facial expression. Like when you say, maybe the moment when your parents ask you to join the business school, and I know that it's not your forte, so you can also put the um, unpleasant facial expression, like it's not something that you want. Or when you're talking about the arts, something that you're passionate about, you can uh, cheer yourself up and then put a good uh, facial expression, like as if you're happy and talking about that. So overall, it was a good speech. I didn't feel like it was the first uh, speech ever. You have a good opening, clarity, uh, enough vocal variety, and you may want to improve on the eye contact as well as the exploration on the pause during the speech as well, and also facial expression. That's all from my side, back to you, G. Thank you, Tasmaster Dembia, for your constructive feedback to our speakers today. I believe she will learn a great deal and hopefully once she officially become our member, she will get more in the in the turn as well and we'll help her progress as well okay now we will have a role takers report first we, i will start with the grammarian for the grammarian tasmasa kayum could you please as well deliver your report today in regards to your job all right that is my job i will say that is my responsibility that's the first grammatical error that i found because i am not being paid by doing this I am volunteering to do this. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it comes to me that the word fantastic that I see in the chat box down below just now is really, really visualize what happens today. Because I have only one paper of evaluation. I'm sorry, it can't be seen because my background is also white. The paper is also white, like my face, lah, right? <laughs> so it can't be seen. So ladies and gentlemen, let me come up first with the thing that I would call or say as thing that everybody in this room can improve. Right. For the first of all, I heard a speaker says that I am currently the government external auditor. I am currently the government external auditor. Now, in order for these sentences to be better or to be more specific, you can mention that or you can use that. I am currently working as the government external auditor because we don't know what you do as a government uh, external auditor. Maybe you're working, maybe you're playing around there. Maybe, you know, maybe you're just hanging out with them. Maybe you are the team or friends of the external auditors. We don't know what you do over there. So you can mention what is actually that you do there, that we can actually know what is it that you do there. And then there is a speaker in our table topic sessions as well that they say, I can see improvement in the table topic speakers. Perhaps, or correct me, am I wrong? If I'm wrong, that the speakers is actually pointing to the session itself, not the speaker, because the previous sentences, it's, you know, re-pointing re, re or pointing to the session. So I believe that the speaker want to say the table topic session, not the table topic speaker. And also that I heard some speakers say, and then, and then. Those two words are actually, it's, independent it can stand by itself what do i mean by that when you want to say that i walk and i run it does correct and also it will be feel a little bit weird when you say that i walk and then i run because you say and then because you also can say i walk then i run right so those two words and then it is actually can stand by itself. You don't have to use it in, you know, both together, which is directly after each other. And also I heard the speakers say, I have two suggestions 
and only two. Then, for me, it does sound like a repetitive. What can be done here, ladies and gentlemen? You can say the first one, I have two suggestions. The second option, you can say, I have only two improvement. All right. And then there is a speaker that I heard. He or she, all right, I'm not mentioning who, he or she say that I think, all right, she or he say that I think. In order for us to give a speech, we don't, we don't, we do not use I think. Because when you giving a speech or when you seeing uh, someone doing a speech, you could say that I observe, I see that you're doing this today. You cannot say that, that I think that you do it today. You cannot think already because that is already happened. You know? The last one that I heard the speaker say, so, Overall, so overall, once again, two words that can be independent by itself. So, and overall. So I would like to close. Overall, your speech is. So both of these are, can stand by itself. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that a simple, I would say improvement that everybody can bring back home today so that they can improve and evolve to become better speakers, communicators, and leaders in their perspective or professional life. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, is that the only you know, mistake that I found as people say like, oh, grammarian, the grammar Nazis, the people who are the police officers only look for the wrong side of the people. Not really, not really, because why? In every dark side, there is always look on the fathers. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have some good thing that I recap from all the speakers. On our prepared speech sessions today, the speakers metaphorically say, I am looking forward what life has in store for me. I am looking forward what life has in store it for me. And that, that is in gentlemen, a very good metaphor. I hope that maybe someone going to say like, I'm looking forward, what the supermarket that mean life, or maybe the hypermarket, or maybe the malls, maybe, you know, those are kind of words that are very good. And then I heard the speakers say in the table topic session, I will achieve more if I be content to myself. Wow. Now we always looking as a society, we comparing ourselves to people so that I might, like what the speaker say, good, am I doing well? But this speaker say that I, am, I will achieve more if I be content to myself. The next one, the speaker say, and a very good one today, what the school doesn't teach you, it will taught in the workplace. Yes, absolutely correct. And I believe everyone here, have their professional life would agree with that. And the last but not least, the very good thing that uh, sentences that I catch today, am I doing well enough? Am I doing better than the other people? Now that catch the audience attention and myself as the audience, that a very good quotes and a very good, you know, thoughts that being shared, am I good enough? Am I doing well today? And perhaps that with those quotes, you can actually turn it upside down. What have I done better today? What have I done today that I have not done it yesterday? And that makes you perspective change. And ladies and gentlemen, those are very good quotes. Let me close it with this one thing because this is the day that we all learn to evolve and how to get something, how to get the most out of those masters. In. The code says like this, I am not regretting joining those masters. I am regretting not joining it early. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, back to you, Madam General Evaluator.
Okay, thank you for your comprehensive and insightful report. Okay, I'll, I'll, I won't say job, but say roles <laughs> because it's a year of volunteering. So yeah, okay, I agree with it. So let's, let's have another role to deliver report. We will have word of the day counter, Toastmaster uh, Gabriel, I think. Okay. Okay, so I share my screen. Is it visible? Okay. So yeah, this is yes. the thank you. So this is the us and WOD counters and for WOD epoch. Congratulations for Giselle, Nicholas, and Dendia for mentioning the epoch and. This is also the uh, 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 I noticed that some of us using this word was when we are, I think maybe some of us, especially the guests, is nervous, so it's okay. And also repeated words like my partner, my partners. But I also noticed that it is because you are nervous as it's your first time, so it's okay. Anyway, congratulations, guys. If you want to know more, you can also watch it in the recording that we will upload in YouTube. Thank you. Okay, thank you for delivering your report. Gabriel, it's surprisingly short, but well, you wrap up your report pretty much comprehensively. So uh, now it's my turn to deliver my report regarding the the running of this, this whole meeting today. And I would love to share my screen as well. I will... I will deliver my report faster because we are running out of time. Uh, say I will start with the meeting evaluations, the overall meeting. Before the meeting, I will say there are three points that I would love to appreciate for the club because first, the guests and the members are welcome warmly. And second, the president introduced about the club comprehensively so it can attract guests that can be potential members to the club. And the last one, the meeting started on time. I hope the club keep up these points. And during the meeting, the meeting went smoothly and everyone participated and look at the system. I guess we all can feel it, especially in edu speech. It's not only educative, but as well engaging and enlightening. And the last point, the meeting ended late, I have to admit, but so, for the club, it's associations to be mindful of the time management because we know it's, it's a special amount. So I guess the time is cut short. And I would go for the next sessions, role takers evaluations first for the Tom. The Tom explaining the team. So it's, it's, a, it's a great point for us, the participants, the audiences know about the team, what is it about? And for the Table Topic Master, the Table the Table Topic Master provided engaging questions. So the participants, especially guests, participated actively. And for the evaluator, she's exemplary. She gave constructive feedbacks to the prepared speakers. And for the grammarian, the grammarian gave insightful reports, though without visual aids, but it even better with visual aids, I believe. And next, the word of the decounter, she delivered through a report. Plus with visual it, it makes it even better. And the timer, the timer released the times promptly as soon as the sessions ended. And the last one, ballot counter. The ballot counter launched the poll immediately as well after the session finished. So we can vote for our best impromptu speakers in this case, because we don't have best speaker and best evaluators. So I will, I will say that the role takers did their jobs excellently. And I would love to give the control back to the Toastmaster of the meeting tonight. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Erika, for delivering your evaluation. And now let's move to the awarding session that will be led by our ballot counter, Toastmaster Uyun. Thank you. Thank you. 
wait. Uh, okay. Uh, is my like screen visible? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So here is the awarding session in Jakarta Tos, uh, Motivators uh, Toastmasters Club uh, session 27th April 2022. <laughs> uh, like, uh, listen to wonderful educational speech from him. And for delivering a nice icebreaker. Uh, should we have a photo session or just uh, go to the next? We may have photo. Let me spotlight the corresponding. Okay. In three, two, one. Okay, thank you guys. Let's move to the next word. Okay, and this one is uh, based on your voting. Who is our most favorite table topic speaker? She or he is the most favorite table topic speaker. Wow, okay, so let's have a photo of you. Okay, are you ready, guys? In three, two, one, hold your pose. Okay, yes, thank you. Congratulations, and for the auto winner, already left. Congratulations to her. And that's all the awarding session. Hope your picture or your name will be featured in the certificate. So, looking forward to your speeches in the next meeting of Jakarta Motivators Club. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster Hans. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Uyun, for revealing the award. And now, let's. I would like to express my gratitude towards all of you guys, the role takers, the speakers, evaluators, and all attendees. You stayed until this moment. And I would like to inform about upcoming events. Upcoming events, first of all, regarding our. Okay. Jakarta Motivator Toastmasters and Jakarta Bahasa Toastmasters Club will have Halal Bihalal online at 7th May on Saturday. We also open for talent show only for internal members. And most likely we will have Power Demon to attend this meeting because Power Demon is the founder of both clubs. Upcoming regular meeting will be held on 11th May because on 4th we will have a holiday regarding Idul Fitri. And let's see if we can make optional in-person meetup in May. We will discuss in group and perhaps also in the public group. So not only the internal member, but the public group that we have. So we can get to know more each other, network more, and yes, let's just have fun. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And I would like to end this meeting by officially by pressing the stop button.